And breaking right now, we have team coverage of another extraordinary day of protest in Philadelphia. Let's begin with Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed near the police command center at Broad and Vine. Alicia? That's right, Yuki. We're at Broad and Vine, where yesterday's unrest started with the burning of a state police trooper. Now tonight, state police are back here at the entrance of eastbound 676. And for hours, protesters were here only stopping about six o'clock when the city's curfew went into effect over in West Philadelphia. As Chopper 3 aerials show, the security situation continues to deteriorate by the hour. We were there earlier this afternoon as a quiet morning turned into a dangerous afternoon. Right in front of us, a crowd narrowed in on one police car and started throwing bricks at the windows. People all around were grabbing anything they could get their hands on to throw at law enforcement vehicles, eventually setting multiple police cars on fire. From the air, looting and theft from multiple stores along the iconic business district in and around Market and Chestnut Streets. A source tells us the plan was to raid the nearby Foot Locker on Market Street at 3 p.m. Now, police got wind of the plan and manned the streets. By 3 o'clock, the mayor ordered every business to shut down, but the looting didn't stop. And by 4 o'clock, police declared an unlawful assembly in the area, putting anyone on the street at risk of immediate arrest. Before 5 o'clock, tear gas was deployed as police tried to disperse the angry crowd. Now, in a Facebook Live, City Councilwoman Catherine Gilmore Richardson begged people to go home. Please, we don't want anyone to be hurt out here. We want everybody to be safe. I'm frustrated too. I'm frustrated as the mother of a black boy. I'm frustrated as a, a wife of a black man. But please, please be safe. We need y'all to go home. We don't want anyone else to be hurt out here. Please. The president tweeted today saying law and order in Philadelphia now. They are looting stores, calling our great National Guard like they finally did. Thank you, President Trump. Last night in Minneapolis, is this what voters want, Sleepy Joe? All Dems. Right now, let's go to Chopper 3 over the 69th Street Shopping District in Upper Darby. A few blocks over from the West Philadelphia city line, we have seen widespread looting and store break-ins along the corridor there. It's significant as this means the looting and lawlessness has spread to Delaware County. Upper Darby police have announced they will begin law enforcing the curfew starting at 8 p.m. Reporting live from Center City, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that.